We had two vehicles traveling south on Gray Highway. The truck was on the inside lane closest to the median and the uh, Honda Odyssey van was in the right-hand lane. From all available information, the driver of the Odyssey wanted to make a U-turn right here and go back to the gas station on the northbound side, and he did not clear his uh, mirror. Apparently, either he didn't see the truck, it was in a blind spot, or he thought he had clearance, but he came over into the truck's lane and actually made contact with the truck. And when it did, of course, the momentum shifted and both vehicles wound up striking the bridge. The truck actually went through the concrete and came to rest where you see it laying now. And the vehicle actually caromed off the bridge and came to rest in the middle of the roadway. So in addition to cleaning this up, there's going to be some major repairs on the bridge. Yes, ma'am. Part of the bridge is actually in the creek, and the Georgia Department of Transportation will have to determine if the bridge is, in fact, safe to continue to use right now. So that's that determination will probably require an engineer. So, so do people need to use Green Settlement Road? They need to use something. Uh, Green Settlement, uh, take Highway 18 to 87. Uh, it's going to be inconvenient, but if you're coming southbound in through gray going to macon you need to figure out your best alternate route and both drivers sustain non-life-threatening injuries as far as i can tell the driver of the truck was in trap for a very long time but he is he's caught talking to people he's conscious and alert so that's that's a good sign the other drivers the other passengers and driver were all transported but they were ambulatory they walked to the ambulance how many people there were in three the in the van and one in the truck